right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning. Handling several cars out of a collection here in Lake Havasu. Walk around and tell you about this. Some really neat cars in the collection, including this one. This one's a 1961 Pontiac Ventura two-door hardtop sport coupe. Actually a bubble top version. We'll walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Nicely finished in a uh, original in its original color, Dawn Fire Mist. Came to this collection oh several years ago and he went through and brought it all up to snuff. Came out of a collection in Washington State. Uh, gentlemen that were uh, a few brothers that were in the Apple business and uh, he purchased it, brought it down here, dialed it in all the way, gave it a lot of love. Beautiful car. The Donfire Mist is very nice on this car. Kind of a metallic burgundy or maroon. Has a factory correct uh, Pontiac Motor Division wheels on it. Eight lug wheels. Gonna give you a feel. You'd figure a car alarm would go off while I'm doing this today, but that's all right. We'll just kind of go through it here. Has uh, looks like the sidewalls have been buffed. Uh, looks like Michelin's on it is what they appear to be. So just the smooth look on the tires. Hot rodders like to do that. Kind of gives it just a clean, smooth feel. Beautiful, wonderful straight body and trim. Venturas, it is a true Ventura by the way. It's a model 612537, which is a two-door hardtop sport coupe. Um, all the trim, this was an all new body style for 1961. Had a bubble top style to it, much like the 61 Chevy did, so it's Pontiac's version. Underneath the hood is a uh, 389 Tri-Power V8. It has a four-speed transmission and a traction lock rear differential. We'll go over all that. Hang on, get underneath the engine compartment. We'll cover that with you. Um, has nice options on it. Has factory power steering, factory power brakes. The interior is very nice. Again, factory in its presentation. So it's a factory color. And the interior is the factory maroon tricolor. Nice running and driving car. Again, the body panels are very straight. Nice, solid car. We'll get it over to the shop and get it up on the lift here for you. That's Spud's Garage, uh, Motorsports Garage. Dash, very nice. These are just so classic uh, in their style. All, you know, all factory trim, very nice, properly fitted to it. Tri-color bench seat, four-speed shifter there. Just here, take a look at the back side of the seat. Another nice Pontiac coming on this, so you want to make sure you go to Spud's Garage. Door shut really nice. Actually, we took, uh, like we try to do with every hardtop that we do, we took photos and videos of it with the windows up. The window fit is nice from the factory. Here, we'll cover that in the video and with photos at Spud's Garage. All the gaps on this car are super nice. Um, just nicely fit panels. Nice reflections in the paint. Nice straight body. Sorry for the wind. Fitted the deck lids nice. Catalina's had an oval tail light over here on the side. Um, and the Ventura itself had these uh, uh, rear panel tail lights, which are really cool. Nice little wings. I think it's probably towards the last part of the uh, period where they were putting wings on these uh, Pontiacs. Unlike a hard top with the uh, windows down and the wind wings open. These cars are getting pretty hard to find. Uh, they built just over 13,000 of these two-door hard tops. So fairly low production. We'll decode all that at Spud's Garage for you. Give you the skinny on that. 
again the fit of the upholstery is very tight nicely done you get up underneath the dash here you see all the factory wiring is nice emergency brake works I've got it set right now I uh, don't know if this is a factory tack or not but it sure looks like one possibly possibly something somebody added he has a uh, docks on this car he says it's in the registry but i think it could be a historical society report on it but either way uh, we'll review that file before we get to the undercarriage and then cover that for you later on in the video here odometer at time of inspection is 76 uh 56 it starts really nice runs great i think i put the key in my pocket when i got in the trunk so give me just a second got it i already have it neutral because i started it up but we'll go double check it has a factory idiot lights on it and a gas and a generator gauge the generator gauge is charging you saw the lights cycle when i turned the key on this uh, pontiac tack nice uh nice addition to one of these cars the four speed is uh, factory correct like we talked about or period correct um, this is an add to this car get you underneath the hood very nice uh, nicely done period correct kind of style to this one uh, original style format 389 tri power v8 has a period correct upgraded uh, four-speed manual transmission and the track lock rear differential in it as far as we know or what the owner tells us the uh, engine is original to the chassis on the car we'll once we get it down to the shop to do the undercarriage and that kind of thing we'll confirm or post those photos for you to decide um, all stock in its format and style even has the fan clutch on it has an additional upgraded coolant recovery bottle they didn't put them on at the factory that i know of anyway uh, tri power has been added to it it was an original four barrel car so it's got the Rochester 2-Jet Tri-Power on it. Nice little factory options here make this car nice to drive, which is the factory power steering and the factory uh, power brakes on it. We have a picture at the data tag at Spud's Garage. We'll decode that for you. I'll actually fire it up here for you in just a minute. Starts up very easy. Didn't even touch the gas. Will now. Nice thing about this gentleman is car, his cars all run well and work like they should. Since we have it running here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, unset the emergency brake. Don't know how well I'm going to do with a four speed ship. Power steering should help me. At least we'll take it for a ride around the block.
synchro is good. Passenger side window fit. Driver's side window fit. Alright, we'll get you in the trunk here. I'm sure this uh, trunk light is optional on these. I'm sure it wouldn't have come with it stock. That's kind of neat. Uh, factory style trunk trim and side cardboard trim on it. Uh, the owner, when he received it, there was a lot of moisture underneath the mat, which is super atypical on these cars. Uh, he did do the trunk pan on it, which is pretty common. What would happen is the underneath these mats, between the mat and the steel, it would sweat. And it was just a poor design. Happened with every, about every make of car, Chevy, Pontiac. All right, we got this uh, Ventura up on the lift. Really solid car, like we talked about during the walk around. Uh, we'd get it up on the lift here for you. Uh, the owner did because the mats on these it's really typical he did the uh, trunk pan on it but inside here clearly a dry climate car by my uh, professional re review here and the trunk pan was done nicely uh, has a uh, according to the owner uh, and the prior owner this is an upgraded traction lock rear differential in it huge I can tell you that nice original floor pans on this one I studied it before I turned on the video camera and took the photos so apparently uh, came out of the Wenatchee Washington collection but prior to that um, it was the uh, in Southern California and I believe it Floor pans on this are all original. I've looked at the rockers. I'll give you a view of the rockers. The engine has clearly been rebuilt on it. It's like new. Uh, was an automatic car to begin with. It's been upgraded all period correct up top. Uh, what it is is a brand new uh, Richmond four speed, which is nice. These are well built. See the Richmond here? Shift's good, took it for a drive, you already watched that. It's like all the front end's been uh, dressed and lubed and aligned and everything's been apart. New bushings here, control arm bushings. Bottom line is, if you're looking for a solid car that you can drive, this one will definitely do the trick. Like I said, we'll catch the uh, rockers for you. This is supposed to be a traction lock differential pause there. You can look it up. That's a big housing, that's for sure. All right, we'll get you the rocker here, passenger side. All these rockers look original. Correct spot pinch welds. We'll get you the other side. Okay, driver's side, same thing. All correct original spot welds. Clearly a very nice solid car. There you go.